Welcome to Brewmaster, folks. A beer brewing simulator. We are, are, are going to make a beer. We're going to brew a beer, which is great. I am a beer guy myself, more than a, a wine guy, you might say. Uh, mainly because if I drink red wine, I look like Count Dracula after a snack. And uh, I don't like looking like that. And also, red wine gives me headaches and beer do not. So we need to... Brew a beer. So let's see. We need to retrieve a stainless steel pot. Okay. And I put colored was here. Uh, the game is in early access, or uh, it's not in, even in early access. It's actually in uh, closed alpha. Oh, we are. No, we don't. It's uh, it's in closed alpha. So we're. I was lucky enough that the developers gave me a key and uh, come check it out why can't i open the tap there we go all right and we need uh, 20 liters of water all right that'll take a little while and uh, retrieve a mash basic mash tune small okay uh that would be that do that and we need to put that over here i know uh place that there all right this will this will take a while this will take a while all right what else do we need uh so from the map basic master from the ingredients covered which you the following uh grains four thousand grams of american pale ale and 500 grams of pale crystal malt okay uh Um, is it over here? I think it's over here. Uh, American Pale. All right, so we need to retrieve that. Uh, 4,000 grams. Confirm. And Pale Crystal, we need to retrieve 500 grams. Okay. So we have those. And that is not done yet. So let's see what's next. Uh, place the basic mash tune on a the table, then pour 3,700 grams of American pale ale and 400 grams of pale crystal malt into it. Okay, so we have the mash tune here. We need to remove the lid. And this is how much did we need? 3,700 and 400. Okay, uh, so let's pour. And we need 400 grams of this. Okay. That's 300 and a little bit more. Stop. Okay. And then it's the American Pale Ale. And we needed 3,700 of that. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's about right. Uh, how is this looking? We're almost there. Uh, let's just give it a second. And we'll uh, turn this off. It shouldn't be too long now. 17,000 milliliters, we need to get to 20,000. Uh, all right, 18,5 almost. 19. Okay, 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 we're almost there. And stop. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Uh, let's place that there. And we need to turn it on the hub and heat the water to 75 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, let's not show our item. Set temperature. Uh, I guess we'll just do that. 
and then we can take a look at the temperature here it's going up and we can speed up so we need to get to 75 which it almost is and and then what uh, okay, once the water has reached 75 degrees, move the pot from the hub and pour 10 liters of water into the mesh tun. Okay. Uh, so. Ten liters of water. So pick that up and uh, pour 10 liters of this into there okay let's get there and we're there okay uh, stop pouring we'll I guess push that over there and uh, turn this off I suppose. Hey, uh, turn that off. Why does it automatically turn back on? I want you to turn off. Okay, like that. Okay, what's next? Uh, close the Maston's lid and maintain a temperature of around 65 degrees Celsius for an hour. Okay, so uh, attach the lid. And you need uh, the temperature is already too low. Uh, so we need to pick this up and pour some more of this in there. Okay. Let's do that. I'll stop pouring. Put that back over there. Put the lid back on. And for an hour, it said. So. I guess. Man, the temperature drops fast, doesn't it? So we need to get to around. Uh, we need to take the lid off first. Uh, no, no, no. Pour that in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. And I think we need to turn this back on. Uh, so... Let's just turn that back on. Put this back on. It's already down to 63. So, yeah. Uh, what's this temperature? Why is it going down? Uh, e. Alright. So we need to get this temperature back up. Okay. Uh, e, uh, pour. Okay. Let's try that. And see what the temperature is now. Not enough. So I guess we're pouring some more in there. Still not enough. Uh... Okay, that has to be enough, right? Uh, stop pouring. Yeah, that's enough. Let's put the lid back on. And I think we're about there. Okay. So uh, let's put this back over here. And what's next? Uh, 
Okay, pile the remaining water in the stainless steel pot and pour all of it into the mash tun. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, I suppose we just wait to this for this to get to boiling. There we go. Uh, And pour, and pour the rest of it in there. Alrighty, done. Uh, I suppose we put this back over here and turn that off. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, put the lid back on. I guess. Place the stainless steel pot on a lower surface than how much tun. Tube tube. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we need to pick that up. And put it over here, I guess. Then we need to grab a tube. Tubes. We retrieve one of those. Stick it on there, on there, and uh, open the tap. Okay, so that's draining over there. Cool, cool. Open the mash tins, tap and drain all the liquid. This is the wart, a uh, sugary liquid that will eventually be turned into beer. Okay. Move the stainless steel pot containing the wart to the hub and heat until boiling. Okay. So we need to get all of this out. Uh, okay, I guess we can't get more out than that. Fine. Uh, then I guess we need to detach the tube, or just pick it up and put it over there, and set this temperature, and get it up to boiling. And while we get it, get that up to boiling, we can pick up from the fridge freezer, which is a stupid name, retrieve the following hops. 10 grams of Cascader and 30 grams of Citra. Okay, uh, Cascader, that was 10 grams and 30 grams of Citra. Okay, so we have those. Uh, what's the temperature? 51.28, okay. Okay, so once it's up to boiling, uh, we want to put this in here. And it is boiling. Yeah, okay, so then we need to put the Cascader in there, that's four, right? Uh, okay, and boil for 15 minutes, so that's 6.30. Okay, and then... Place the citra hops into the same pot and continue the boil for 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's... Uh, uh, let's remove that. And grab the citra. Uh, put that in there. And another 10 minutes. So that's... Until around there. Uh, then what? 
Uh, remove both hot bags and take the stainless steel pot off the hub. Okay, uh, remove that. Uh, take the steel, stainless steel pot off the hub. Do the farm. Okay. Why, why take it off the hub? Why not just uh, turn it off? Okay. Free the following from the equipment cupboard. An immersion coil, small, and two tubes. Uh, place the immersion coil inside the stainless steel pot. Connect the first tube to the intake of the immersion coil into the sink tap. Connect the second tube to the outtake of the immersion coil and to the sink basin. Finally turn the sink tap on. Okay. So we need an... Immersion coil, and we need another tube. Um, okay, so we place that in there. Then we place a tube there, there, and a tube uh, that one there. So there, and we uh, turn this on. Okay. Uh, connect the first tube. Yeah, we did that. Wait until the wart in the stainless steel pot has dropped below 23 degrees Celsius, then remove the immersion coil. Retrieve a fermentation container. Okay. Northeast Yale. On the fridge freezer. Okay. Uh, so a fermentation container. Retrieve that. Uh, I suppose we'll just put it over here. And northeast ale. Uh, northeast ale retrieve what's the temperature here and we need to speed this up whoa 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 that was quick okay uh, let's see uh, T. And remove the immersion coil and pick you up or, or what was it retrieve the station container then free northeast yield from the fridge freezer. Pour the wort in the stainless steel pan into the fermentation container. And if necessary, top up the fermentation container with water from the sink tap until it contains 20 liters. Okay. So we need to pick this up. Uh, let's remove the lid. And let's pour this in here. Uh -huh. And it's nowhere near 20 liters. All right. Uh, right let's just put that back over there. Uh, then we need, we actually need to pick this up and put it down over here. We need a tube from there to there. And yeah, pour the water uh, to top up the fermentation column of water from the sink and tap until it contains 20 liters. Okay, so okay, uh, are you all the way open? Should be all right. Let's see, 20 liters we want it to get to. Uh, uh, T E. Okay. So that's done. Uh, can we? No, no, no. All right. Detach the tube. 
Okay, pour the northeast, north ale yeast into the fermentation container, then attach the lid. Okay, so the north yeast ale, uh, pour that in there. Come on. Pour it in there. All up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then attach the lid. Okay. Wait 15 days. Okay. 15 days. Where's the calendar? It's there. Okay. Uh, 15 days. Advance. All right. I'll uh, be back when that's done. Alrighty, uh, it's been 15 days. Uh, what's next? Uh, try to change it after a week. You can see next frame of that. Okay, I forgot to do that. Okay, from the equipment cupboard, retrieve a plastic bowl, small from the ingredients cupboard. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar. Okay. A small bowl. Plastic barrel, small. It has to be the barrel, right? Didn't it say bowl, though? Uh, from equipment, no, it said ba plastic barrel. Okay. Um, plastic barrel, retrieve. Uh, where is it, though? Is it number seven? Oh, I have it in my hand. Okay. okay. Uh, let's just place that there. Uh, from the equipment cover, from the ingredients covered, retrieve a bag of corn sugar. Okay. Uh, corn sugar. Retrieve that. And we need to pour 200 grams of corn sugar into the fermentation container. This is to give the yeast something to feed on during the conditioning stage so that it can carbonates the beer. Okay. Uh, all right, so we need to take the lid off here. And we need to pour 200 grams in here. So it's down to 300. There. All right. And then we need to uh, put the lid back on. Um, can I hide this item? No? No, oh, I can put it there. Okay, pick that up. We'll put it over here. And we need to place the plastic barrel on the lower surface. That's the tube. Open the tap to drain the beer into the barrel. Okay, we can do that. Uh, let's put you there. We'll put a tube on there and a tube on. Uh, wait. I need to remove the lid, and then I need to put tube on there. Uh, six. Uh, connect the tube. Connect the tube, and drain it in there. Um, tap to bring the beer into the barrel. Okay. Uh, uh, open the tap. Bring that in there. And there we go. And then we need to uh, detach that. And we need to attach the lid. And leave it for 15 days. All right. And then we get to taste it. That's the fun part. Okay. Uh, so we want 15 days. 
advance and I'll be back once we've done the 15 days. So almost there. Uh, while we wait for that, uh, I wanted to mention that the game is developed, uh, being developed by Auroc, Auroc uh, Digital, who also made uh, Mars Horizon, which I thought was a great game, where we uh, had to uh, go uh, land on Mars and basically do the whole uh, uh, rocket program, uh, space exploration program, uh, historically, which I thought was really cool and... I mean, if that is anything to go by, then uh, I think there's great things in store for this game. Okay, it's time to move your to taste your beer. Move the plastic barrel to tasting room and start the tasting sequence by interacting with the prod taps whilst holding the barrel. Congratulations on brewing some our digital, which I think is a really cool name. Okay, uh, so we'll pick you up. We'll head into the tasting room, which is over here. And taste beer. Okay. Let's see how we did. Is it going to be drinkable or <laughs> horrendous? All right. So it's a little flat. Uh, color is pale. It's a pale ale. It's it's not very flat. Uh, well, it's, a, it's not very carbonated. So it's a little bit flat. And... The batch size is a little bit small, and the clarity is slightly hazy, okay? It's malty and sweet more than it's hoppy and bitter. Uh, I think I prefer a little bit hoppy and bitter, to be honest. Uh, it's crisp and clean, 3.7. It's no sour and tart. No dark and roasted, 9.9 .9 malty and sweet. Uh, 13 fruit and spice, zero off, whatever that is, zero smoky, 2.9 hoppy and bitter. Okay, notes of citrus, 14.4, lime, lemon, ester, grapefruit, melon, passion fruit, tropical fruit, biscuit, nutty caramel, honey, and whatever is behind there. So I wonder how the heck they got all those flavors in there with those few ingredients. I have no idea how to brew beer. My dad used to brew, brew beer in the kitchen uh, when we were living. Uh, we were living in uh, in Kuwait, and of course you couldn't get beer there. So so dad set up a home brewery in his kitchen. Uh, so ABV, I have no idea what that is. Five point three nine percent bitterness. Twenty eight point seven IBUs. I have no idea. Well, it's on the low side. The body is medium, uh, contamination is unimplemented, so I don't think that has anything to do with the beer. Uh, original gravity is one, final gravity is 1.012. Is this all good or bad? The beer category... Uh, 50% of everything? Fifty percent Scottish expert, fifty percent blonde ale, New England IPA, British Golden Ale, Belgian Golden Ale, Belgian Golden Blonde Ale. Sorry. Uh, okay. Is it good or bad? Okay. Thanks so much for playing. You'd like, if you'd like to share screenshots on, or video from the game, do feel free. Blah blah blah. Uh, yeah. Look out for the survey. Okay, so cool. I I think it has potential uh, for for several reasons. Uh, I mean, it's it's fun trying brewing beer. Uh, I I thought that was actually quite fun. And uh, maybe you can try some different re recipes because there are already different ingredients in there. So you could try making other beers uh and see how that goes which could be fun uh and also i i mean it is alpha and it's already very functional i mean uh, the menus and the controls could be better but it's alpha it's a closed alpha it's the very first alpha uh that they're letting anyone into so i i think it has potential and and considering they made mars horizon uh i think 
our digital might have a, a nice game on their hands and i'm looking forward to to seeing how it progresses let me know what you think in the comments do you think it has potential do you think it's something that you would find fun trying to brew your own beer on your computer and uh, let me let me know uh, what you think what you think should be changed improved uh, so on and so forth and i'm looking forward to hear what you think so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time